So, you might have noticed that I have lost the ability to communicate on YouTube without resorting to top lists, but after watching My Hero Academia not that long ago, and with it becoming one of my favorite anime ever, I just have to talk about it. Plus, it's my birthday, so what better anime to talk about today? Yes, I know Hero Aka is cliche and unoriginal, and that I am a tasteless casual for loving so much, but shut up, I don't care, it's awesome. So, let's get on with the list. Number one, it's a shonen, and I like shonen. So, I'd like this too. Pretty simple. Number two, the first two episodes. These were the episodes that got me into the show. It made me get past my original skepticism about it, and I figured out that it could be something really great, as opposed to a boring show that I would drop after three episodes. Number three, the likable characters. Because no one wants a main character that you want to slap in the face all the time, or stab multiple times. And I like the whole cast here. They're great. Number four, All Might. Because he is so awesome that he deserves his own spot. Plus his ringtone. How can you not love his ringtone? Number five, the battles. Because they're epic and cool and exciting with all the smashes and fires and explosions, so battles are awesome. Number six, the animation. There are so many pretty colors here. They are the best colors. Let me tell you about all the colors. They are just so colorful. Number seven, the sound. The music here is even better than something Nickelback would do. It channels the hype and the feels and the joy and the sorrow and the hype and the pain. Plus the dub is good too because Christopher Sabbath. Need I say more? Number eight, what it means to be a hero. The theme is prevalent all throughout the show with each character having their own answer to this question. And with a show about heroes, what better theme could there be? Number nine, the quirks. Not only are they cool, but they make the battles neat as well. Plus the symbolism. So many symbols. So deep for you. Much quirks, good show. Number ten, it doesn't suck. Because a lot of the shows, well, they suck. Some suck a little, some suck a lot. But this show, it doesn't suck. And that's what makes it awesome. Number 11, the emotions, the feels. This show made me feel feels I did not even know I could feel. You feel me, bro? And now for number 12, and I really did save the best for last here because it is the one thing that I think sets the show apart from others like it, and it makes it have such a greater impact than any other show I've seen. And it is something I keep appreciating more and more as I rewatch episodes and see the small details they put in, which means so much more when you see the whole picture. It truly is a case of masterful storytelling, and it is, well, actually, not something I can really do justice to in a couple small sentences in this video. It really does deserve its own video. And, in fact, all of these aspects do. I really didn't go into any detail here, so the points I made just don't tell you anything about the show or how I really feel. You know, it would be much better if I did a full video about all of these. So, what if I did that? And by that I mean, what if I actually have been doing that? So, you remember how DigiPro did that 12-part series about why the Astro Corps sucked? Well, wouldn't it be cool if I did the opposite for My Hero Academia? Especially if I have been working as much as possible on that series of videos the past few weeks, and they're over three-fourths of the way done. What? Did you really think I just switched to doing topless because I'm lazy and they're low-effort content? <laughs> In fact, a couple of months ago, I decided to take a day off work with the goal as to make as many topless as possible to give me time to focus on Boku no Hero videos without messing up my YouTube schedule. So, in case you were wondering, yes, those topless were all part of my plan. And if you watched my Neptune video, you might notice that I included a little bit of foreshadowing about this plan. Oh uh, yes, I am so excited to bring these videos to you, so stay tuned, this will be fun, and it will help at least me tide over until season 3, so I will see you then. So, I am going to be sharing with you a new video about Boku no Hero every 4-5 to five days for the next couple months, and well, I hope you enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed the show, though you probably won't, I don't think that's possible. Anyway, talk to you next time. And now to go edit more things in Sony Vegas and complain about it crashing. Talk to you later.